Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, me and old Domino back there, we've already uh, went on a little ride this morning. But as soon as I start talking, huh, you start whining and getting all jealous and stuff, huh? Um, excuse me. We've already went all the way to town and back, and he hasn't gotten up here one time. But as soon as I start talking to you guys, he's like, hey, everybody, what are you doing? Hey, 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 don't be getting all jealous. <laughs> don't be getting all jealous. All right, so we ran up town. We needed to get some spark plugs for the boat and get some non-ethanol fuel. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm trying to work here. I'm trying to work. Uh, but had to go get some uh, non-ethanol fuel. Uh, my uh, subscribers are supposed to be here today. I think they got in last night. Um, I messaged them this morning to check on them. Uh, I haven't heard back yet. It's still real early. Um, it's only about 8.30 this morning. And uh, I've been in town now for about an hour, hour and a half, something like that. But uh, we're supposed to work on the boat some more today. And uh, I don't know if we're going to take the boat out on the lake today or not. Um, it's real gloomy. It's supposed to rain today some. Tomorrow's supposed to be a nicer day. It was supposed to rain uh, Monday and Tuesday, but it looks like the forecast has shifted. What a surprise. Um, but it looks like it's going to be a lot better day tomorrow. So I don't know if we're going to work on it some today and then take it out on the water tomorrow or what the whole deal is but we'll find out here soon whenever they get up and about i'm sure they're probably pretty tired from their trip uh, we got a we had the old popo on the side of the road but i went ahead and got up early this morning and went ahead and got the last couple of things that i needed for the boat just to make sure that they wasn't having to wait on me for anything uh, yesterday was Easter. I took uh, the weekend off, guys. Um, I didn't edit anything. Uh, I didn't film anything. Uh, I did end up making the trip to Oklahoma uh, Saturday uh, to go see MT and uh, Mike and Terry over there. And uh, Terry made an amazing breakfast and ate that. And then I dropped my trailer off and picked Mike's trailer up full of the windows. So I have all the windows on the mountain now. Uh, there's still like three that couldn't fit on his trailer that they're going to put on my trailer when they uh, load it up. And uh, so I think it's going to be telephone poles for the next trip. Uh, I think they're loading my trailer up with telephone poles. I told them to try to keep them around 20 to 25 foot long. Uh, I want to use this next round of telephone poles for a pole barn in the future. So... Uh, looking forward to that i also dropped off the tires and rims that i bought for the uh, horse trailer that i got from biddy boo and uh next time i go to pick up that trailer i'm gonna take mike with me uh with his truck and we're going to bring the horse trailer back we're gonna unload it with their stuff and i load it back up with all the stuff that she's given mike and uh, put the new tires on it. I need to get an impact because I think those tires have been sitting for a long, long time. And I uh, put the new rims and tires on there. That way I don't have to worry about anything. Uh, that way it's a nice, uh, easy ride. And I know that we won't end up blowing tires or anything like that on the way. But yeah, it's been busy. Um, I did some baking. I had uh, Junk the Gems come over uh, yesterday. And uh, he worked on the Jeep. We put that uh, throttle positioning uh, throttle body on. And that didn't fix the problem. Um, it's starting to sling codes now saying that the, uh, the ECM or whatever, the basically the control module for the, for the car, the, the brain, is not good. So I'm going to have to order that too. And... Uh, get that situated. Old Gumby might be coming back over today to start on the shower floor. Uh, I don't know. Um, we'll see. He mentioned it. but uh, If he does, then he might start working on that. Um, 
it'd be nice to get that situated and get that behind me too that's one more thing off the list I was really hoping I'd get the Jeep running yesterday and I'd be able to have my second vehicle good to go but uh, it didn't work out look at this one right here guys look at that spoiled 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 it's funny I, I think uh, Domino knows whenever I'm recording because uh, he gets front and center I'm telling you I've, I've been riding with him for the hour now and he hasn't been here not one time and as soon as I turn the camera on and start talking he is like front and center thinking that he's not getting all the attention he is <laughs> he is extra ain't that, ain't that what the kids are saying now extra that boy right there is extra uh, all the animals are doing good I took the nesting box out of the uh, rabbit pen um, the little bunnies are hopping around everywhere I'm gonna uh, have to build a grow out uh, pen here very, very soon. I think I got about two weeks, two and a half weeks before I have to move them into the grow out. Um, so I need to get that situated here soon. I'm gonna do something pretty basic for that, uh, more than likely. Until, because the rabbits and the chickens will end up being together before it's all said and done once I do the raised bed area, because they're all gonna be kind of incorporated into that whole area there so I don't want to build too much crazy stuff um, right now that's not going to be used in the future I had a lot of scrap materials and stuff laying around so I'll end up creating something um, y'all know me I enjoy doing that kind of stuff taking a whole bunch of stuff laying around and creating some cool stuff I did go to the post office today while I was in town go ahead and get that situated made me think about that was I just passed the mail person delivering mail let me give it some gas so that old semi don't try to run me over behind me but I hope everybody had a great Easter guys um, hope y'all uh, enjoyed the day and uh, it's a big day a big day uh, I did a, as much relaxing as I could my plan was just to take yesterday off because Saturday I literally got up at 5 o'clock in the morning and got on the road and uh, went to Oklahoma swapped the trailers and everything and then got right back on the road after about two hours of hanging out over there at MT's and drove back and didn't get home until about 4 o'clock and then by the time I got all the animals situated and stuff like that it was 6 o'clock so that was a long day and uh, then I did a little bit of odds and ends stuff around the uh, tiny house that night and my plan was to kind of relax on Sunday but uh, Gumby's plans kind of got swapped up. He was supposed to be there Saturday sometime and I uh, didn't make it till Sunday so it kind of made it to where I had to change my plans a little bit for yesterday because my plan was to kind of take it easy yesterday a little bit and that way uh, this week and kind of hit on all cylinders especially with uh, working on the boat and having people in town and all of that stuff I knew my first two days of the week were going to be uh, doing all of that and then uh, Wednesday Thursday Friday and so on I wanted to start on a uh, one of the bigger projects there on the mountain I'm thinking uh, after working on the boat and working on the Jeep and everything I'm thinking the patio well shed has moved its way up pretty high on the priority list I'm tired of not being able to find tools and all of that other stuff and I really need to get that area cleaned out for the raised beds so I think I'm gonna start working on that here very very soon this week and then uh, get the floors painted on the cabin I'm not really so concerned with sanding all the logs on the inside of the cabin right now I don't have to have that done before my family gets here but I would like to get the floors done so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the floors. I'm not really worried about doing the floors before I sand because it's concrete floors and it's epoxy and it'll sweep right up. So not that big of a deal. It's not like it's hardwood or uh, carpet or anything like that. So, and I think painting the floors will make a huge difference with the look and the feel inside there. And I just want it to be comfortable for them. That's the main goal. Um, and have plenty of space and stuff like that get it cleaned out that way we can fit some air mattresses 
and all of that in there on top of the bed that's already in there because my brother and sister-in-law and niece and nephew will be staying in there and so will my son and his friend so uh yeah got a lot going on and it's coming quick the meetup is like a month and a half away at this point um, so you blink your eye and we are going to be there oh yeah <laughs> what you staring at yeah you just being all shy you giving them the the turned head treatment I tell you what old Domino uh, dreams every night makes all these little weird noises down there and stuff I don't know if it's nightmares or dreams but every single night when he hits his little deep sleep he makes all these little I don't know they're strange noises I wonder what dogs dream about what do y'all think chasing rabbits digging up bones what do you dream about? I wish I did. Because uh, you seem to have those dreams every single night. He's a he's an interesting one for sure. His uh, younger life with the trauma and stuff that he went through or whatever, I think, is the reason why he is like he is. He has extreme separation anxiety with me. Um, when I take him to these trips and stuff, when I get out the truck and leave him, you can hear him just going crazy, whining and all of that other stuff. Same thing at the house. He wants to be beside me at all times, even though he can't. But that's what he wants. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking to you. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Um, just took a little time off. I didn't put no uh, videos out Saturday or Sunday. Um, I don't have nothing ready to go for uh, Come On Homestead, so... Um, probably be Tuesday or Wednesday before something comes out on there. I will be going live tonight on Come On Homestead at the normal time, 6 o'clock uh, central time. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Yeah, are you going to be there? Are you going to be there? Hmm? <laughs> uh, you can't get in my lap. We've talked about it. You can't get in my lap. You can't. You can't get in my lap while I'm driving, dude. <laughs> Look at him. Or maybe you can, huh? This is ridiculous. You are ridiculous. <laughs> uh. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this cuteness today, guys. Um, I did put a Fired Up Friday out. Um, Friday, matter of fact. If y'all didn't go check that out, go check that out. Uh, that was the chicken cordon bleu. Bacon wrap, smoked. Turned out really good. I did, that is something I did do yesterday. I did film a Fired Up Friday. I did a lot of bacon uh, this weekend. I made some peanut butter cookies for the Drifting Dreamers. Um took them down Easter morning and then when I jumped to Jim's uh, came there with his wife and uh, daughter Miley uh, Miley was just sitting there kind of on the phone just kind of hanging out and I uh, looked bored so I asked her if she wanted to make some cookies so I made uh, peanut butter chocolate chip cookies with her and then I took more cookies down to the Drifted Dreamers for Easter they are loving the fact that I got my new mixer and I'm getting into baking and stuff again because they get the benefits of the reward for it because what I do is I keep me just a couple up at the cabin and then I take the rest of them. That way I don't just sit there and eat sweets all day um, because if they're there, um, I don't have much willpower. I'll eat them all. So uh, I keep what I want to keep, you know. And then I take the rest down there to the kids and to Mike and Lissa. That way they can eat them. That way I don't end up, uh, you know, taking a whole bunch of, uh, gaining 400 pounds and all that good stuff. So yeah, uh, be on the lookout for that Fired Up Friday this week. It'll be a bacon one, uh, like I promised y'all in the last video. Uh, tried a new recipe that I ain't tried, tweaked it a little bit. But, uh, yeah, there's going to be some more baking in uh, Fired Up Friday. I don't think I've ever baked on Fired Up Friday. But I went uh, on the way back from Oklahoma 
I went to Walmart and got a whole bunch of baking supplies, all kinds of different stuff to be able to go in there and create a bunch of yummies. So uh, I'm gonna get in the kitchen and start experimenting and stuff like that, and, uh, tweaking recipes, and because I like to add my own twist onto everything. So uh, I'm excited about that. I haven't baked in a long, long time, but uh, everybody seems to love it. So uh, I guess my skills are still pretty decent. So enjoying that, be on the lookout for that. But yeah, I think that's it. I hope everybody had a great Easter weekend, guys. Uh, hopefully y'all took some time with some friends and family. Hopefully I reached out to somebody that y'all ain't talked to in a while and uh, told them that y'all was thinking about them and uh, maybe even took another step closer to your goals. I know y'all see that semi behind me, but I can't go any faster because there's a car in front of me. It's not me this time, guys. But I love every single one of y'all. I hope y'all have a great start to your week, guys. Old Domino here says bye to being all extra this morning. But love y'all. And always, guys, and I do mean always, keep it real. Come on.